Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Doesn't look right. Okay, okay. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Was he killed here or brought here after? For display? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Footprints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party.
Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click.
This mug always cheers me up. Casey's favorite brand. Tastes terrible. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated. There's a piece of paper on the ground. I didn't know trees got that. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come... A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense.
his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. 